Congressman Rodney Davis of Illinois, sir, you witnessed the terrible events that unfolded. Where were you when this all started? You know, I was up to bat. Um, heard a, a loud noise, what I thought was a construction site dropping a loud piece of metal. And um, the next thing I heard was, run, he's got a gun. I ran into the dugout, uh, dove in uh, on top of others who had made it there before me and realized that wasn't the best place and dispersed out for, for more uh, secure areas and, and uh, witnessed something I never thought I'd witness going to a baseball practice for a game we do for charity. How long did it last, would you say, or how long did it feel to you like it lasted? Well, let me tell you, I, I don't know, and I'll wait for the report to come out on how long it lasted and how long the response took, but um, anything is too long. Uh, I felt like it was an hour when you're, you're running away from gunfire and, and also trying to make sure that um, trying to make sure your, your situational awareness is there too. And you got a little scraped up, it looks like. <laughs> um, describe a little bit, what is the camaraderie like on the team? Do you know Steve Scalise? What's he like as a person? Do you guys, are you hanging out together? I mean, what, what does this game mean to you as members? Steve, Scal uh, Steve Scalise and, and all the members of the team, we, we bond together. And we also bond together with the Democrats. And that's, that's the message I don't think gets out to the American public enough. As we stand here in this hallway, um, I have just as many friends on the Democrat side of the aisle. The majority of what we do in Washington is, is bipartisan. But the disagreements over major policy issues are what make America great. But it's the political hate and the rhetoric that we've seen that's ratcheted up that has got to stop. And that's the reason I'm here today talking to you. We've got to stop this rhetoric. We've got to stop the hate. And today's the day that has to be America's breaking point where Republicans and Democrats come together and say enough is enough. We are Americans and we govern together. We choose our leaders. Whether we agree or disagree, that's what makes us great. And we need to send a message today as both Republicans and Democrats. So I'm just learning uh, from our control room that we know now that Steve Scalise, uh, the majority whip, is out of surgery. Uh, your reaction, I think that may say it all. Yeah. When, when you see your colleague laying in the outfield knowing that he's been shot, what you just told me is phenomenal news. Talk to me a little bit about the Capitol Police, what you saw, how they reacted. The true heroes of this event are the two Capitol Police that were part of Steve, Steve Scalise's details. If they would not have been there, this would have been a massacre of major proportions of innocent people in a park where innocent civilians walk their dogs. We have kids at practices. Um, the, these two policemen, two, two brave officers engaged with the shooter, got, I know one at least, got shot herself. And they're the true heroes. They're the ones that made sure that every member of Congress and every staffer is still alive today. Brian, I know that the, I can hear what you're saying to me. The congressman can't hear you. Is there anything you'd like me to ask him about before I throw this back to you? Uh, just that he thinks we can ever go back to an, an event like this and return to the true spirit of this. This was just supposed to be about baseball. And, you know, every time we have an act of public violence, it's, it chips away at our public innocence a little bit more. Brian's asking, do you think that after something so terrible as this at a game that really represents has been America's pastime, can we go back to the camaraderie that existed before? The camaraderie exists. That's a misperception. We have great camaraderie out here between Republicans and Democrats. Um, I, I urge you to ask many of the Democrats I've served with, uh, number one, if they know me, and number two, what we've worked on together. Because we work on a lot of things together in a very bipartisan way. So. We have to come together as Americans. We have to take this tragedy that we saw today that could have been much, much worse and turn it into a positive to let Americans know if you disagree with your leaders politically, that's okay. That's why we have elections. But let's not ratchet up the hateful speech and see stories about policies are going to lead to the death of people. That's, that's political rhetoric that has run amok and has turned into hate and it may may be the reason why we saw the senseless tragedy that we saw today. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.